Welcome to Fireside Trailer. So today, we're gonna to be cooking in our Serrata pizza oven. So we're really gonna be highlighting the versatility of this oven. You can change temperatures in a short amount of time. So we're gonna go from high temp to a lot lower temp. So sit back and enjoy the video. We're going to start with our bread since we'll be going from high temp recipes to lower temp recipes for today's cook. We're going to roll it out flat like a pizza and then let it cook and rise until we get a nice loaf that's great for tearing pieces off to nibble on. Moving on to our salmon, we're going to cut up our filet into some smaller cuts and then sear it in our cast iron pan to lock in the flavor. Then we'll remove it from the oven and let the fire die down a little so that we can slowly cook the rest of the fish and get delicious smoky flavor. We'll add some butter and garlic to the salmon to absorb while it slow cooks because what's better than butter and garlic? Next we'll be moving on to the asparagus. We want a little more heat in the oven so we'll add a few small logs to the fire to get the temperature up. We'll melt some butter in a pan and then add the asparagus and stir while it cooks. Now it's time to plate them and serve it to your guests. While everyone is enjoying the first course, we're going to be busy making our dessert pizza. We'll roll out the dough and dock it because we're going to cook the dough by itself and add the toppings at the end so that we don't end up with smoky chocolate. Once our dough is cooked, we'll add lots of gooey Nutella, chopped Andy's mints, and crushed nuts and all we're going to do is finish the pizza by doming it to heat up the toppings so they all run together. Now that our guests have had their main course and a few slices of our dessert pizza, we'll let them take a minute to digest while we prepare some chocolate chip cookies for everyone to come back for towards the end of the event. We'll mix together our softened butter with brown sugar and granulated sugar until mixed before adding vanilla extract and eggs. Next, we'll add our dry mix of flour, salt, and baking powder and stir until we have a nice smooth dough. And last but not least, plenty of chocolate chips. By now our oven is dropped in temperature, which is what we want for the cookies. So we'll keep adding small bits of wood to keep the oven at about 350 degrees. We'll roll out our dough into balls and place them on the tray. Make sure to rotate every 5 minutes or so for 20 minutes so that one side isn't facing the fire the whole time since we don't want burnt cookies. By the time the cookies are finished, your guests will have had about 20 minutes to smell them cook and will be lining up to bite into one of them. Well, there you have it. We've got our cookies, we had our salmon, we had our dessert pizza. So thanks for sitting back and enjoying with us. Take care.